Hi and welcome to Biostock Studio at Medicon Village in Lund. Today we are joined by Jeppe Olvesen from Synact Pharma that is here to answer a couple of questions about their latest news. So uh, welcome Jeppe. Thank you for having me and thank you for the opportunity. Uh, first of all, what makes your candidate uh, stand out compared to current treatments for inflammatory diseases? Well, we are basically in a situation where the data that we generated in 2021, they are just as good as uh, what is out there uh, in terms of competition. Uh, but we believe that we differentiate a lot uh, on the safety profile because we are in a situation where our drug seems to be along uh, a lot uh, more safe uh, than it, uh, what is out there. Uh, as you know, uh, the JAG inhibitors, which is uh, the most competing products to us, have had uh, major safety issues uh, during the last couple of years, including having black box uh, warnings from, uh, from the FDA. And that, of course, puts us in a situation where we are different uh, and potentially uh, a lot better. And you're now carrying out a rights issue of 150 million Swedish krona. Uh, what will the issue proceeds be used for? Well, basically, uh, we're going to drive the dual strategy that we have had for, for quite, quite some time. Uh, a strategy where we are driving the business development on one track, and then uh, we're going to initiate two phase two studies uh, that uh, will be initiated this year uh, and will read out in uh, Q3 uh, next year. And there have been some questions about why you decided to carry out the rights issue instead of a directed share issue. Uh, could you explain the reasoning behind this? Yes. That's for sure. Uh, quite a few of our shareholders have uh, asked us uh, why now. Uh, and I think that uh, the, the, the best answer we can give is that uh, the situation right now is not ideal. Uh, but on the other hand, we are in a situation where we're not foreseeing that uh, the, the markets are getting better in the short term. And therefore, we decided to uh, do it now. Uh, make sure that we get the money uh, and that we get them into, uh, into the bank uh, quickly in order for us not to sit on our, on our hands and, and really move the projects forward. So it has been a, a compromise uh, between should we wait uh, and then delay the projects or should we get the money in and get going. And uh, we have definitely been happy with, uh, with the decision also that we could uh, get into a position where the right issue is 100% guaranteed. You have previously communicated that you are working towards a partnership deal. Uh, how is this process going? Well, that process is uh, going uh, very well. Uh, it has been going on uh, since uh, the data point in, in, in November, December. Uh, and I can say that we are in, uh, in, in, in good discussions. Uh, there's a lot of interest for our projects. Uh, but we would like to be independent uh, of uh, the deal making so that we can continue uh, to drive the projects uh, when we are uh, in, in these discussions. And that is very important for us. And how do you leverage the feedback you have received so far in these discussions? Well, basically, uh, we get, uh, of course, a lot of take homes uh, from these discussions. We are also learning as we go. Uh, but we have been doing these deals for, for quite some years. So we have, a, I would say, a fairly good picture of uh, what the takers are, are looking for. Uh, one of the things that is on their wish list is, uh, is a 12-week study. Uh, we have a four-week study, uh, and that is why we are planning on conducting these two uh, new phase two studies. Interesting, and thank you for being here. Thank you very much.